For more than 140 years, Wilmington College has helped transform curious students into educated professionals. Our graduates continue to be leaders in their fields, and nowhere is that more evident than in the life and physical sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, math, and agriculture. Construction of Kettering Hall was completed in 1959 and was financed by an outpouring of support from area business leaders, chief among them being Charles Kettering. Kettering Hall has served as the science hub of Wilmington's campus for more than 50 years, and to this day, its labs and classrooms remain relatively unchanged. Kettering Hall of Science uh, is the place where all of our students uh, in the sciences take the predominance of their classes, but it's also a building that every student on campus is in uh, during the course of their academic career. The reason we're entering into this campaign to build a new science facility at Wilmington College is that the Kettering Building needs to be renovated and, and really expanded. Uh, we have so many more students now that are interested in agriculture and the sciences that we've run out of space. And the facilities, although they've been modified uh, modestly in the last 51 years, really are out of date. I know personally I've been given a lot of wonderful opportunities um, from the professors at Wilmington College. I was able to travel to the Philippines um, last winter for the International Undergraduate Research Symposium um, and I get to present my research on bisphenol A and that was just a wonderful experience for me. Uh, over the summer I was given the chance to intern with the Air Force in the Air Force Research Laboratories. Um, this opportunity was given to me. Uh, my professors recommended me for the job um, and I interviewed and I got it. So now even after the summer is over they have renewed my funding so I will be continuing to do research for the Air Force and without the faculty at Wilmington that never would have happened. So they provide great opportunities both inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. You know, the present Kettering Hall is a great building and it's served us well, but if we think about it, uh, the Kettering building was built, I think, in 1960 or 61. If, and I'm a fan of automobiles, but if you look at a 1961 Ford Galaxy, phenomenal car, nice engine, it's about that high off the ground. Suited the technology there, did a great thing. By today's standards, that sixth one Galaxy is just an antique. And that's what Kettering is today. It's kind of an antique. We have advanced so much in terms of sciences. Agriculture is an integrated science. We use chemistry, we use biology, we use physics, we use mathematics. And one thing that the new Kettering building gives us is a dedicated lab to agriculture, which presently in the facilities we do not have a dedicated laboratory. So why do I feel this campaign for Kettering, the renovation and additions, uh, should be supported? Well, I, I want to tell you something. Uh, I was born in 1937, and the only reason I tell you that is that my life really began in September of 1955 when I enrolled at Wilmington College. As a result of the excellent education that I received here, I was able to live a life I was able to make a living, and I've tried, I've tried to make a difference. To me, even though I was a liberal arts person and didn't take many science courses, I'm well aware of the fact, as chairman of the Board of Trustees, how important this renovation and addition are to the future of the college. We have got to continue to be able to attract the kinds of students we've attracted in the past. We have got to be able to attract the kinds of faculty we've attracted in the past. And we have got to be able to continue to benefit our communities, our states, and our country the way we have in the past. 